this is a topic that I think is going to be a lot of that's going to be very very helpful for a lot of traders who are thinking, hey, should I reversal trade this trend or should I continuation trade this trend? We're going to go into uh, open interest and in using it to determine whether or not you know how should we trade a trend. Moreover. I will now be posting only every Friday instead of every Tuesday and Friday. I've been doing two a week um, and I want to be focusing more on quality rather than just always getting it out Tuesday and Friday. So because of that, I will just be only posting on Friday. This could change in the future. I could hate it and then be like, I want I want to do another two a week. But for at least till the end of November, I'm going to be just probably posting once a week. Um, so. Unfortunately or fortunately for, for anyone, that will be the new Bitcoin Trading Challenge video schedule. And without further ado, let's dive into open interest. First thing I want to say is that my LRA plus trader course covers a much more in-depth uh, version and practice for what I'm going to be talking about today. What I'm talking about today is just the tip of the iceberg of really what you can do with open interest and how you can pair it with other with other indicators. So if you want to get a ton more practice on this, a ton more knowledge on this, I'd recommend you go check out my trader course. If you already have my trader course, I think that this video is going to be a really good accompaniment, accompaniment, uh, hard word to say, uh, uh, for you as well because this will just reiterate some of the re re reiterate, hard to speak English, uh, some of the concepts within the course. Uh, okay, let's dive in. Typically when open interest is very high, that indicates to me a lot of trap traders. Typically when open interest falls drastically, that indicates a market top or a market bottom. The reason this is, is because I'm gonna show you guys uh, BTC perp on FTX. What you see here is a classic example of a ton, ton, ton of trap shorts. And I actually was able to enter a long on BTC perp, two of them. And I closed them. But the reason I did this with a tight stop loss is because of this. I saw that open interest was quite high and that open interest just wasn't really falling much. That indicates to me that these shorts are basically locked into their positions. Now let's go a step further with this interpretation because I don't really typically go you know, to the next level. I typically do more basic, but to get more advanced. We know that a lot of shorts were trapped in their positions here. So the reason I went long is because there's a lot of untapped liquidity to the upside. I know that there are so many trap shorts who have not yet released their positions that it's probably a good idea to have entered a scalp long at the time I did. And that's my reasoning for why I entered long. Because I knew that of course there's a chance that price could go 0.8% lower and trigger my stop loss. And you know, that could happen, that'd be fine. But what ended up happening is the opposite. Price went above 12K as, as I had thought that it was probably going to. Killed a lot of shorts with an open interest drop um, and then you know carried on its way going right back down. So this is a kind of pattern that is probably one of the greatest patterns you will find in crypto. And that's why I keep talking about it in my trader course. Again, in a lot more depth than just what I'm talking about in this video. But um, open interest is just a great way you can find trap traders. I think that if you want to think about this indicator in any way, think about it as trap traders, especially when the market's trending. Because when the market's trending, typically half the crowd is, well, more than half the crowd's losing, but in a vacuum, half the crowd wins, half the crowd loses, right? And if we see that open interest keeps rising or stays flat, that's indicating to me that the losers, those who are losing positions, are holding. And they're going to hold on to those positions until they get liquidated or stopped out, right? And because of that, entering with the trend when open interest is quite high is a pretty good strategy because you know that there's a lot of untapped liquidity for that trend to continue on and you know that your exit point's pretty clear. Basically, your exit point's going to be when open interest drops drastically, right? Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing for some people, but let's go look at another coin. So let's do, for example, Ethereum. So is there Ethereum perp? Yeah, let's go to the FTX coin and see what's going on there. So this is a completely different trend than Bitcoin. It looks like it has like no correlation to Bitcoin whatsoever right now, because uh, this is not Bitcoin's price action. This is very uncoupled, I'll tell you that. But let's go look at this trend. So what I see here is that actually we have a large open interest decrease. Now, you might say, Bennett, would you want to enter short? And my answer is no. My answer is no, I probably wouldn't want to enter short here. The reason being, price could go lower anyway, you could call me a fool, but you know, this is probability. 
And the probability the price goes lower, I think just isn't good enough because a lot of the longs who are gonna get liquidated, stopped out, panic, they already did. Uh, that large open interest decrease kind of shows me that that had already happened, right? And if I was to put this up on, let's say, FUSD TPERP, let's see what it is there. Yeah, same thing, we have a large open interest decrease. So this is indicating to me that there isn't that much untapped liquidity of longs to the downside. That liquidity has already been tapped into. If anything, there's probably more shorts who are trapped who might be uh, stopped out or liquidated at higher prices. Because that's how these markets work. They go from uh, you know one liquidation to another or one open interest drop to another open interest drop. And they're typically just gonna keep heading Toward, toward price points that kill as many trap traders as possible. And that's my philosophy and that's what I wrote in depth about in my trader course. So that's how I would analyze this trend more specifically. But let's actually go into what had happened before Ethereum kind of just fell apart. Uh, not fell apart, but like dropped like 10 bucks, which is a fair amount for Ethereum. I probably would not have entered short anywhere here. Open interest is dropping. Um, there's just not much going on here to me. There's not much indication for me to enter into a short. There's not much telling me that the probability of price going lower is much is that high. The only one there's only one open interest uh, thing here that's that's going on that's bearish. It's this open interest increases here, indicating that a lot of people had enter positions here. Then price dumps. That means we have trap longs right up here, right? And if we have trap longs right up here, clearly you know we need to terminate them. Uh, but it does look like this price move kind of did. Uh, so that, that's why this is kind of like not a great really example. All right, let's go to another random one. Let's go to a more zoomed out time frame. And I'll do, I'll do YFI. I, I haven't even uh, prepared this one, but let's go see. Okay, so this one, oops, I don't know why it's kind of like jumping all over the place. Come on, buddy. Nope, not you. We're gonna go to the one hour. Yeah, so this one looks like open interest just increasing like crazy. Um, yeah, this is really looking like open interest increasing like crazy, which to me is looking like a pretty strong downtrend. But I do wanna talk about what happened here October 8th, because this is so interesting. What we see happen here is we see price drop and open interest rising, indicating a lot of people entering. But it seems like this one, what, what, what had happened was a lot of people had probably entered short at the very bottom. When you see a large open interest increase after a very high volatility move, sometimes, actually a fair amount of time, that can be uh, a trap. So when you see high volatility, then just a massive open interest increase, that can occur trapping traders in uh, at, at tops or bottoms. But you may say, well, can you be more specific with how do we interpret this? Well, we see a large open interest uh, increase here, and then price goes away from that open interest increase in this direction. That indicates to me that we're now trapping shorts. Had this candlestick been very bearish and gone a 5% lower, I actually would put good money on the fact that price would have gone lower. I know that sounds kind of strange, but with such a large open interest increase at a certain uh, range, when price goes in one direction, it typically continues going into that direction because the previous price action was just ranging uh, and people hopping into positions. So even though open interest does decrease on this up move, Still, I would put you know more probability in price going higher because there's such an open interest increase here um, that's telling me that there's probably plenty of trap shorts who are just trying to cash in on this bottom. Hey, can I just scalp a 1% uh, short and then I'm gonna hold my position until I get that 1%. They get liquidated and you know, you know the story. So to summarize really what I'm talking about, you can do this on any altcoin, you can do this on any cryptocurrency you, you so want, as long as it's liquid enough. The basic strategy for my interpretation of open interest is a few things. First thing, which I'm gonna talk about, which is here, is if you see a consolidation range and you see a massive increase in open interest, whatever price move occurs after that tends to trap a lot of those traders. And price tends to continue going in that direction, whether it's bullish or bearish. Now, the second thing to know is that when you see a steady trend, not a lot of volatility, increasing open interest, that indicates that there are increasing, increasing, increasing losers or losing unprofitable traders who are hopping into the trend and getting trapped. If prices is just grinding lower, just grinding lower and open interest just doesn't budge, 
That tells me that these longs are not going to close their positions at a loss. And if they don't want to close their positions at a loss, they're probably going to be forced to with a wick or violent bearish move downward. And if price by chance goes up, a lot of those longs who are trapped are probably going to want to close, which is going to push price back lower. So it's a lose-lose situation for them basically irregardless, unless like some big trader steps in and just violently presses the price up. But you know, probability-wise, it's more likely that price in that situation would go down, right? Finally, third strategy for my interpretation of open interest in you know uh, October 2020 is if you see a massive open interest decrease after a sustained trend, that's a pretty good sign that the trend's over. Um, what that typically indicates when you see something like this, where price is rising and then open interest just falls apart, or price is declining and open interest just falls apart, that indicates that that trend has just uh, liquidated and stopped out all of those losing traders who are trapped. And then price just tends to trickle back the other way. This is how markets operate. And this is, again, locked in range analysis, but applied to the cryptocurrency market. So I hope that this was just a good little teaser for what is inside the course, because the course, is, the course covers a lot more practice examples, a lot more combined indicators, and just a ton more knowledge that I don't want to give away in this video. But those are my interpretations of open interest. You can do what you want with it. But I think that uh, this is probably my number one indicator, if not number two. I mean, position data is number one maybe. But this, this is pretty good stuff. And if you can really understand the trap trader method, then I think you're way above of most re retail traders. So with that, like I would said, guys, I'm going to be just posting every Friday from now on instead of every Tuesday, Friday. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think of that in the comments below. And we can also talk about open interest or if you want to talk about the course as well, I'm totally willing to do that in the comments section below or in private messages.